campaign from yeah, Florida. I know. For the bobblehead. Everyone, that's a long way to come, yeah, for a, for a bobblehead. They will be found, good, I predict. They will be, and yes. they have, yeah, those vouchers. Everyone's going to get their bobblehead. Let's hope so. All right, let's talk about the weather, Mary. Yeah. Got, uh, what, rain coming? Yeah, some not, areas are... Not just seeing, rain either, right? Yeah, we've got some rain right now for areas north. A lot of those storms that were out west, they are weakening as they move east. But this is just round one. So we have another round that's going to move in and you can already see that out west towards Indianapolis where there's severe thunderstorm warnings already popping up just with that little round of heavy rain. And again, that's going to be bringing us some heavy downpours for areas mainly south of I-70 and that's going to be overnight. So here's that one line of convective storms that have moved across the region and weakened. So we had a lot of thunderstorms out west right now. All of that heavy rain has pushed towards places into Catanning, so Indiana County as well, and then also for places north in Clarion County. That's where that yellow indication is. So the severe outlook, it still stays off to the west, but we are in first alert weather mode with the storm potential through this evening. So heavy downpours right now in the Clarion area. And then again for places like Catanning, even New Bethlehem. But by the time we get to midnight, that's going to shift south, south of I-70. So we're seeing some rain in downtown right now, 67 degrees, and those winds are ramping up. Gusts at 20 to 30 miles an hour, and those are going to stay sustained through overnight, and we're already seeing a big cool down. So we were in the 70s today. It was fantastic. Now we're back to the upper 50s in Newcastle, so this system cooling things down quickly, so behind that front. Right now, 72 in Waynesburg and Connellsville, still holding on to sunshine and some pleasant weather for areas, but if you head a little bit further north, that's where we have some stronger wind gusts and also some heavy rain. Wind gusts still at about 20 to 30 miles an hour for places like Franklin, even into downtown, and this is going to last through overnight. Wind gusts do diminish by tomorrow into the afternoon, but we have that risk for storms around 11 o'clock tonight, just that short window, and we're going to stay mild even into the mid 60s for places, and then those will fall. Those temperatures fall overnight, and then we wake up to light rain showers tomorrow for your morning commute and then stay steady into the mid 50s. So here's that second round of rain we're looking at at about nine o'clock tonight. That's going to move in, moving to the south and off to the east. We still have that southwesterly flow pumping in that warm air and moisture. So we're still looking at instability for areas at the surface where we have those wind gusts really ramping up. So places like Uniontown, Green Fayette County going to pick up a lot of that heavy rain. And again, we could even pick up some small hail and wake up by some thunder, some rumbles of thunder. So by the time we get to Friday afternoon, it's going to be a lot more calm, a lot more clear. Saturday also dry, and our next round of rain moves in right around early Sunday morning, so right around midnight on Saturday, and then we'll see a little wintry mix possible for the ridges and Laurel Highlands. We still have a good bit of rain on the way for places south of Pittsburgh, about a half of an inch to even an inch for places like Washington, but then heading into the end of March, just looking ahead, we are trending back above average. So 57 tonight, rain and thunderstorms, gusty winds, 55 degrees for Saturday, St. Patrick's Day Parade looking dry, and then some showers roll in on Sunday, and then snow showers possible on Monday. Monday. First day of spring is Tuesday, and that's the coldest morning low we have in the upper 20s. And the spring equinox is at 11.06 at night. Wednesday, we're back to the upper 40s, and then near 60 degrees, partly cloudy on Thursday.